from the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattle my cage without warning So you guys, I haven't been here in a while But I'm coming to the commissary with my little girl She's walking over here She just fell asleep too Had to wake her little butt up Come on mama Whoa You wanna walk on that? <laughs> okay Come on Let's go Uh oh, uh oh A little baby No, 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 leave the rocks Leave the rocks Alina and Jericho love picking rocks And So does my baby girl a few of you guys wanted me to show you guys how much like um, produce is here if it's expensive so yeah I don't really like it because it is a little bit pricey and like look at these grapes I don't know if you guys can tell but it, when they look like watery like that that means that they're not good and they're pretty pricey here they're $2.89 a pound so but everything else i mean like celery 129 carrots 109 a bag it's not that bad i guess but for instance like i was gonna buy like little ah. mandarin oranges for kali and jericho and they were 8.99 here like what the hell i get them for four dollars or like three something in walmart so it just all depends i gotta get some like fresh veggies because i need to like start making breakfast like get back on my like um turkey meat with my eggs and Do it the back. mushroom and you know those yummy eggs with veggies and stuff i don't even know if i'm supposed to record i remember when we were in alaska i was recording and they told me i couldn't record in the commissary boy whatever i'm gonna try i already bought some spring mix and it's in the house i got some carrots down there and some oranges hi mama and a cucumber mm. Mm. the bananas don't look ready at all i gotta get some spinach i need to get back on my spinach game so for real kiara you gotta eat that okay and not let it like mold in the fridge mm. what else do we need mama what else do we need i heard the craisins are really really good so i'm gonna get some for kalia and jericho and see if they like it maybe we should try Greek yogurt craisins. I feel like she would like this too, but let's start with the crazy the I think that's what it's called, right? Craisins. I'm gonna pick up some Mrs. Dash. Mom. Hey guys, so this is like a really awkward angle. Let me see if I can put you over here. I don't know if you guys will be will be able to see me. Can y'all see me? I hope y'all can. I can't see myself, but um yeah, right now I just dropped off my sister at work and I am going to meet up with a realtor. I spoke to you guys about her. But if I didn't put that footage in, um, ooh, you see, can't see my face. In 900 feet, turn left. Alrighty. Okay, so um, I am gonna go meet up with a realtor. She's really, really nice. I've been you speaking to her, girl. Yeah. I've been speaking to her for the past like four days. Um, I met her because she found my number through Zillow. I was trying to look at an, a uh, at a house for rent, and she was just, you know speaking to me about my options rent wise and then speaking to me about the house buying pro uh, process and everything i ended up speaking to somebody that she knows who like works for a company that helps with like down payments and credit and all that stuff so oh one second so i spoke to her yesterday so last night luz sent me like a, a bunch of listings of homes and one of them I had already seen with my sister, like my sister sent it to me because she was looking at houses for sale for me, obviously. And she sent me this one and I'm about to go see it because Luz also sent it to me. So I was like, that's a sign, even though it's not really a sign because it's like, it's just for sale and it's like in the area. Yeah, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go see it with Kalia. Kalia is knocked out back there. And I'm excited because this house is really nice. It's in my budget. The only thing is that like, you know, with obviously buying a house and everything, you have to put out, put down a down payment, but like i said with the person that i was speaking to she works with that um with people who are building their credit and she told me um yesterday that she actually got somebody to buy a house and their credit score was like five 
I think they said like 510 and my credit score is above that like way above that so crossing my fingers that I can like get the ball rolling and that would just be amazing if I can get like a down payment that's not extra like expensive because right now I obviously do not have a, like money to put down a down payment that's like 10 20 percent so yeah we'll see I'll update you guys about that but shout out to my sister because the second I told her about that like the conversation that I had with um with the realtor and um the person that deals with like the down payments or whatever um she was the first thing she says was like Kiara you know if we have to help you put down so and so amount like me mommy whatever like we got you blah blah and I'm just like bro like they've just they've been helping so much and I'm just so fortunate to have the family that I do have you know so anyways I'm excited to see this house though because it's so pretty and I'm gonna vlog it for you guys and yeah you guys let me know if you like it as well um I don't know I don't I'm not gonna see any more houses today I don't think because later on like in a couple hours I'm gonna be with the kids and no I like I want to be like focused you know looking at houses so maybe tomorrow but anyways let me stop laughing I'll see you guys in a bit and I hope you guys can see my damn face but whatever literally always seeing this number right here the angel number one two three four so you guys i'm here waiting for the realtor i got here like 10 minutes early so close and this is a cute little house i wish i could show you guys the front but i don't know this might be my house y'all so i don't know yeah i i just i'm really hoping and praying that i really like this house even though you know i can still see uh, like other homes obviously because there's a lot of homes for sale but this one is good i like really like this one and you guys are gonna see why in a little bit but something that's on my like list as to like if i'm renting an apartment or even if i end up buying a house is i need an area for my work you guys know i work from home and like me i literally work everywhere like i work on my bed i work on the couch i work on um the table and i want to have an area where it's just for my work and have it like more professional you know like really really i mean i take it serious but like really have all of my shit everywhere whenever i get like my pr boxes um i want to have it in a specific area not just everywhere because then the kids end up grabbing it or touching it or whatever the case may be like i want my desktop you know i just want my office area so this house has that in my in my room you hear me speaking into existence but it has that and like for instance you guys saw um if not i'll put like the little video somewhere up here when i was um apartment hunting slash um townhouse hunting whatever um the first home that you guys saw it's like you know it was a good home and it would have been perfect for me and the kids but it does not have an area at all for my work and i feel like the rooms were just way too close together like if i'm in the room filming or whatever the case may be and kalia's napping or, or or like my dad he's gonna be living with me so god willing so like if he's in the room like i just don't want any type of noise like the rooms are just way too close together so um let's see how this one is i don't know we shall see but as long as i have my office area but anyways the realtor should be here in a couple minutes so yeah i'm gonna show you guys in the next clip all right guys so when you walk in it's literally the living room right here this couch is bigger than mine but kalia's playing with toys then over there there's a room uh oh okay then over here there's like a little dining area my table will probably not fit here i have a big table and the kitchen I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna try not to show their clothes. This is the laundry area. Let me go outside really quick. This is like a sunroom, right? Yes. This is a sunroom. There's this little sunroom area right here. What would you call this? Is this like a deck? Yeah, right? And the backyard is super cute but this is how the back looks there's two little sheds the only thing i don't like is this little crawl space right here like i am not feeling that whatsoever heck no i've seen way too many movies and that also is bad for like um this is the little driveway i don't like that at all 
because then when it rains it gets really really muddy down there and that will probably mess with the wood but um yeah the foundation of this house y'all is like not that good <laughs> like when you walk inside it feels like you're walking down but so but i like you know the concept of it with the sunroom oh there's a bug right there okay let me lock this over here come on mama she's playing with the toys <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're so adorable. You're so then adorable. this is the master bedroom. This is where I would have like my little office area, but I don't know. This house is not really looking that promising, but then the master bed, closets. I don't know if I can open it, but yeah, I don't want to open it. People still live here, but this house is a little old. So look, look at this. The bathroom yeah it looks better in pictures I'm just gonna look really quick thank you this is really narrow there's this little area right here I don't know what that is it looks like a closet oh my gosh it's really 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 short here look at that and i'm like touching it and like the ceiling is kind of going up <laughs> it's really like short here this is a pink cod style this is cute though mm -hmm. this little mm -hmm. room whenever you see the windows designed mm -hmm. that way it's a cape cod style <laughs> if we were to find something else like this Alright you guys, update time. So it is hot as hell. It's 77 degrees right now, but it's still pretty hot. Like it's that weather that I saw a meme that says that it's that weather that um, in the morning like you wear a freaking hoodie and like long pants and then you regret it in the afternoon. That's me right now. Like I have long pants on. I mean I have this graphic tee on, but like I'm still pretty hot. I should have worn my um What's it called? My Bermuda shorts that I was going to wear originally. But I was like, it's cold. Whatever. And thank God I didn't bring my sweater. But, but yeah, so right now I'm currently waiting for the kiddos to get out of the school. And then I'm going to take me and the kiddos to the real estate agent's office, a.k.a. Luz. And we're going to go there and she's going to scan like my taxes and all of that house type of stuff. ID, all of that stuff. So to see if I can get like, um, you know, if I can even end up getting a house. But we saw two homes. You guys saw the first one. It looked way better in person. I mean, sorry. <laughs> It looked way better in pictures. Um, the second I walked in, I don't even know about homes, but the second I walked in, I could tell there was something wrong with the floor. And so, yeah, I got confirmation that something was wrong with the floor. And um, I'm so glad that I have her because she's literally so genuine. Like, she's so real and then i'm glad that i also my uncle is um has a contracting company so if i end up buying a house i'm gonna make sure that everything is up to par i mean obviously i can't i can't tell what's underneath the wall like underneath the floors and behind the walls and all of that but you know um i have loose to like help me because she knows a lot about houses and stuff and and um yeah hopefully once i buy it well, hopefully once I buy a house let's just hope that I can get a house that's moving ready because for my like budget you can't really get something that's like it's it's hard to find something that's like modern in the inside like brand new granite countertops brand new floors you know beautiful bathroom like everything like on my checklist you know it's gonna be a little bit older um, and you know, I can go to the like townhouse slash condo route or route, however you guys say it. I say route or route. I say both, depending. Anyways, I kind of don't want to buy, like purchase a home, invest in a home like it's my house and then live like right next to somebody like dead ass apartment living 
which I don't mind because I'm gonna live in an apartment anyways like I was gonna live in that tan house for a whole year but for it to be mine I don't know how to feel about that but then the plus side is that everything is completely new you know everything is brand new and then I don't have there's not much maintenance like with the backyard and all of that and for me because I'm gonna speak this into existence I know for a fact that this new this first house whenever I get it hopefully I get it soon you know hopefully I'm approved to get like, like a home but my first house in general I wouldn't want it to be my forever home because you know y'all like I'm gonna get my first house and I'm gonna have two kiddos I know for the for a fact in the future I'm gonna have a husband and so the and then also the kids are gonna get older they're gonna grow like we're just gonna outgrow the house because um, obviously I'm not gonna get a big ass house right now I can't get it anyways but um, you know they're gonna outgrow that house so it'll just be like a starter home and then in the future you know we could get like a big house or whatever once the kiddos are older and once you know I have a husband and we like continue make well we start making babies and continue the family you know tree I don't know we shall see but yeah I'm gonna go to the office and we're gonna look at more houses and stuff there hopefully we can go look at some tomorrow but y'all she's so awesome I'm gonna put her information down below if you guys need anybody in the Hampton Roads area Virginia Beach um, Norfolk Hampton Newport News area yeah I'm gonna put her, uh, her her information down below because she's so freaking awesome but yeah so speaking of that you know what since we're chatting and we're just blabbing here uh let's talk about love baby let's talk about love baby um it's not like that but so i was talking to somebody yesterday someone who um uh kind of getting to know right and we were talking about like you know future and like you know what we want in life and in love and in relationships and marriage and all of that stuff so i came to the realization that i want more kids you guys like it's like y'all this might sound a little messed up but it's true if i had two amazing beautiful children with someone who wasn't for me imagine how i'm gonna feel when i meet the person that i'm in love with that's for me like i'm gonna want to have so many babies with him <laughs> um i feel like my my max is four that might be crazy but i i have always just wanted a big family like that's always what i've wanted and obviously babies are expensive but i mean i'm only getting older and i'm just gonna continue making money and stacking up my you know my cheddar oh gosh i don't know why i said that but um and then you know my future husband will as well but i feel like four is max um i don't mind if i i also don't mind if i just have one and i also don't mind if i have two but four is definitely max like yeah like i said just imagine how i'm gonna feel when i i'm with the love of my life you know and i'm just gonna want to just have babies with him like left and right anyways y'all i'm just blabbing here Beautiful, mama. But yeah, y'all. So I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm just blabbing here because I gotta wait for the kids, and they will probably be here in about 15 minutes. So should I go live? I think I'm gonna go live. So it's like, oh, and I gotta go home because I gotta work. I have a deadline today, and the video has to go up like today. But anyways, bye. bye. All right, you guys. So this is the entrance to um, one of the townhomes. All right, I'm just gonna close the door. This is how it looks. Just keep in mind, you guys, um, in my price range, I cannot get something like super modern. So eventually, this is going to need some work, but not too much. I mean, it's still a good amount, but not like crazy amount. But anyways, this is the living room. It is very freaking spacious. These windows are nice, and I like that because natural lighting and this is how it looks in the living room this block right here i don't see the point of it i wish i could just knock that all down but maybe in the future when i have money i can knock that down and make this open and then over here is like a closet um which needs like 
I don't know what this is. It needs like a thing to hang the coats, but but like I said, it needs work, like the knobs, the door I would want to replace, like <laughs> but this is like I said, this is when I have money, but um right here, this these doors I, I don't like, but like I said, needs work. This is the washer which needs to be replaced. Then over here is a bathroom. By the way, this is a house to buy, not to rent. Um, this is the bathroom right here. It has potential, you know? I believe this place is one... I'll put it on the thing. I think it's like 130 something. See this? This would need to be replaced. Um, and this is the kitchen. Let me back up so I can show you guys. See? Um... Yeah, this it, it it needs it definitely needs work, um, but I love the potential, like the space and all of that. But it scares me, y'all, because it scares me because this is a house that I'm gonna buy. You know, I'm not saying that I'm gonna buy this house, but you know, as far as like buying a house, it scares me because it's an investment, and I don't want to make the wrong decision. You know, like when you rent, okay, you're gonna spend way more. But you're not gonna be stuck, you know, with a freaking house, you know. But anyways. So my uncle is actually an architect slash he has a contracting company. So I'll see if he can help me with this. He's told me he would, but yeah. So this is how the cabinets look. These need to be replaced. You can tell like from here, it's like rough. Also this, I would want granite because it's just better. Obviously, if you guys don't know, granite is good because like if you guys put like a hot um pot on top of it it won't like you know melt or like get ruined so um yeah the lady told me that this whole kitchen would probably cost like 25 to maybe um three thousand to like replace we shall see i don't know i don't know if that's like super legit but these doors also i would want to replace but it's not a thing that needs to be replaced because they're pretty sturdy it's pretty good and then this is the backyard it's a decent size. It's good for me. Like, I don't want to be mowing the damn yard. And then this little area right here. And I guess that's like a little thing to like keep your um, mow. What is it called? Mower? I don't Oh my god. Lawn mower. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to come through here. Let me turn off the lights over here. And I'm going to show you guys the room. But... This is definitely enough space for my couch, even for like a desk right here. My long table over there, definitely a lot of space. So now we're gonna go up. This is something that I would wanna replace too. And I'm talking about if this was my house and I have it for years and years and I can invest in all of this. I would wanna replace these, but it's not something that needs to be replaced right now. Like I said, these things right here. Oh, that's a little wiggly. All right. So then when you turn to the left, it would be the master bedroom. That's how it looks. Really, really spacious, you guys. Really spacious. I would want to get a closet door with a mirror, but this is a pretty decent size closet. And then this is another angle of the bedroom. It's pretty big, y'all. And then it has like the vaulted ceilings. Also, this is nice too. Like if I want to have a desk area here, my queen size bed right here. And then my bureau slash dresser right here. This needs some work. Um, but once again, it's something that doesn't need to be fixed ASAP. But this is my, let's say my bathroom. Or the master bathroom. Okay. Then. When you walk down the hall. It's the second bathroom. And it looks like this. Okay. And then this room would be the kids room. It's a little small. But what I'm thinking is. You know having like. Two beds like this. For the both of them. And this is a starter home, so yeah. And then their closet. Let's 
it's not that big but yeah then over here is a linen closet and then over here let's say would be my dad's room it's bigger than the one you guys just saw but not obviously not bigger than mine and then the closet here is bigger all right so that's the house and then this little area right here i would put like maybe like a little um what would you call that like a side table or a corner table right there but yeah let me turn this off anyways guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i'm still trying to figure out if i can even end up purchasing a house anyways you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video wish me luck thank you guys for always being supportive and awesome and for coming onto the live chats when you know whenever i premiere my vlogs i appreciate it and i love you guys so much and you guys will see me later peace out